Hey everybody, Sam here from Sugar Spun Run, and today I'll be showing you how to make apple butter in your slow cooker. Apple butter is so easy to make, especially when you enlist the help of your slow cooker. This recipe is going to take 12 hours to cook from start to finish. So one of my favorite things to do is to start a batch before I go to bed, let it cook while I sleep, and wake up to a house that smells absolutely incredible like warm apple butter. To get started, let's first talk apples. You'll need five and a half pounds of apples for today's recipe, and I personally really like using golden delicious apples. What you're looking for in a good apple is one that is softer and that's semi-sweet. I like using, like I said, golden delicious. Fuji apples are great, Cortland apples are great, or a combination of different flavors of apples also works really well. Don't use Granny Smith apples. Those are too firm and they're too tart for a good apple butter. Once you've selected your apple that you'll be using, you're going to want to chop them into about quarter to half inch size pieces. Please notice that while we're removing the cores, leave the skin on the apples. That's one of my favorite things about this recipe. There's no apple peeling required. It makes it really nice and easy. So as you can see here, I've already added my apples to the basin of this crock pot. This is five and a half pounds. And now we will mix together our spices that we'll be using. You're going to need a separate bowl for this recipe, and we'll add one cup of tightly packed brown sugar, three fourths cup of granulated sugar, a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and an eighth teaspoon of ground cloves. We're just gonna mix everything together now before we add it to our apples. Add these sugars and spices to your prepared apples, and just use a spoon to stir everything together so the apples are pretty much evenly coated in your cinnamon and sugar mixture. All right, now our apples are prepped and ready to go. We are going to take these over to our slow cooker where they will cook on low heat for 10 hours. Here I have the apples that I've already been cooking for 10 hours, so I can show you exactly how we finish off this apple butter. As you can see, our apples are cooked down. They look incredible and golden, but we still have some work to do. The first thing we need to do now is we're going to puree these until the apple butter is completely smooth and actually looks like apple butter. I like to use my immersion blender. This thing is so handy and I'll leave a link to the one that I use below in the description. But if you don't have an immersion blender, you can actually move your apple butter in batches to a blender. Just make sure you puree, you blend that until it's completely smooth and then transfer everything back to your crock pot. Because this is such a large amount of apples, like I said, you're probably gonna have to do that in batches. I'm going to go ahead and use my immersion blender. It's really important that your apple butter is completely smooth and lump free. So I'm just going to give this a stir, make sure I didn't miss any apple pieces. This looks really good and totally smooth, but we are not done with our apple butter yet. We are still going to add some vanilla for flavoring. If you have a vanilla bean, I highly recommend scraping the seeds into your apple butter and giving everything a nice stir. But because vanilla beans are so expensive right now, I am resorting to pure vanilla extract instead. And if you use vanilla extract, you'll use one and a half teaspoons. I'm just going to pour this in with my apple butter. And we'll give this a good stir. And now this apple butter will need to cook for another two hours. You are going to set your crock pot on low heat again. You're going to leave it uncovered and we'll cook it for two hours, stirring occasionally. What this is going to do is it's going to help some of the additional liquid cook out. It's going to make your apple butter thicker and more concentrated. So don't skip this step. After two hours, your apple butter is finished. Now at this point, it's still hot and it may seem a little bit liquidy still. As it cools, it's going to firm up a little bit more, it'll be thicker, but if you want to cook your apple butter longer, you can, cooking it until it reaches the thickness that you desire. I've usually found that two hours is perfect for me. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop it into jars. And that is all there is to making your own easy homemade apple butter. This will keep for several weeks in your refrigerator and it makes a great gift for family and friends. I really think you guys are going to love this recipe. I hope you will try it out for yourselves. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.